Welcome to Silicon Valley Asian Business Talk. I am Sonu Ratra. I am the co-founder of Akraya and founder of Women Back to Work. This is our 23rd year in business and I'm very proud to say that the company is ranked amongst the top women-owned businesses in the U.S. It's ranked as just recently, about four weeks ago, we were ranked as number one best places to work by the San Francisco Business Journal. Um, and that's a very difficult feat to achieve when you're competing with the largest of the largest and the best of the best in the Silicon Valley. We're also ranked consistently as top, best staffing company to work for, to tempt for. Um, our Women Back to Work program has become a movement. It's about nine years old, and it's amongst the nation's leading return to work program. I was born and raised in India. Uh, I live here in the Silicon Valley with my family, my husband and my daughter. Discussion topic, what made me as an entrepreneur in Silicon Valley? Yeah, let's kind of start with because the title of this webinar is your Silicon Valley entrepreneurship journey. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can just share with us what kind of a motivates you to start this entrepreneurship journey to make you who you are today? Um, Roger, so I personally believe that what we become today is a result or a reflection of who we were uh, in our very early days of our life. And that couldn't be more truer than for me. Um, my entrepreneur journey became began when I was only 15 years old. My dad in India, we lived in a small town called Pune, close to Mumbai. Um, he owned a trucking business. And, and some of you may know a trucking business is a very difficult and challenging and complicated business to be in. Um, but very early on in life, um, I, uh, you know, I, it was unfortunate that my mother uh, had a spinal cord tumor uh, and was paralyzed for over 14 years. And I don't speak about it so much because given that we've gone through the pandemic, I've seen so many uh, people suffer that it doesn't seem like as difficult as, you know, before pandemic that I thought it was. But however, um, so very early on in life, uh, given the situation we were in, um, I I started to help my father in his trucking business, which meant calling the drivers, making sure the delivery was done. So it was a difficult, uh, difficult work. But through that, through that time, I sort of learned, you know, waking up on time, <laughs> having the discipline early on in life and, you know, making sure employees were happy and making sure uh, you knew how to call customers. So I think that was the foundation that I had. Uh, and that has helped me through my career. Um, and, you know, of course, when I came to the United States, I, uh, you know, like many immigrants that are probably listening to this, you know, I came with two suitcases. And, um, but I knew I had a to build a better life for myself uh, because life in India wasn't as easy as you would think it would be. Um, worked at large Fortune 500 companies. Uh, but even while we, I was there, I tended to be, um, you know, always running to my VPs and my manager saying, hey, look, I have this initiative. What do we what do you think about it? And they would be very encouraging. They would ask me tough questions, uh, but then they would let me go and do what I wanted to do. And I think that was um, that was a blessing for me uh, because I was able to try out some new ideas and see if they were success or failure. And most times they were success. And I still remember this conversation in the elevator with my VP. And he said, well, you keep coming up with these crazy ideas. I think you should go start something on my on your own sometimes. And I <laughs> took that to heart. And um, and about the dot-com bust, um, you know, didn't even have a green card at that time. But you, you know how, how what they say about um, entrepreneurs jump without a share, parachute, they, they don't think. And that's exactly what it was. During the dot-com bus, my husband and I decided um, enough was enough. We're going to go start something on our own um, because we knew that although the market was very down, economy was very down, there's no other way, no better way but to go up. And so that was sort of my foundation and beginning of the entrepreneur journey. Um, and it truly my early on life really influenced who I have become. Thank you for watching.